G'day, you rotten lot. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to go through this awesome Ace Mic guitar wireless system. This is the G1 system. Now, Ace Mic have sent us this to have a play around with. Um, so, we're going to do a bit of an unboxing, and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use it, because it's supposed to go between your guitar and then uh, your pedal board, or from your guitar to your amp. But I also like to use a wireless unit occasionally between the end of my pedal chain and then going into the PA system. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways. Anyway, here we go, here's the packaging. It's really cool. If you undo it and unslide it, it's absolutely identical underneath. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. So. I'm just gonna pop it open here. Now there's some really nice padding under here, which is good. Just kept it safe all the way here to Australia. Now this got here from uh, China to Australia in about three days, so that's awesome. There's a uh, instruction manual on how to use it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Inside, we have the transmitter, the receiver, and this awesome double USB cable. Now what makes this awesome is, you can charge both things up at once, so you plug that side in, into your computer and you've got two USBs all in the one cord so you can charge up both units at the same time now that is awesome especially if you're at a gig or if you're short for time or whatever you get to uh, set up both of them at the same time now the way you can tell which one's which is because uh, this one has an R on it so that's the receiver and this one has a T on it so that's the transmitter now if you give it a quick press it just shows you how much battery's in there same with the other one. If you give it a long press, they turn on. And you can see they turn on there. And that little blink there that you saw just means that they were pairing up with each other. You can see that both the blue lights are on now permanently. So they've just automatically synced to themselves. There's nothing else you need to do, which is pretty awesome. So that's it. They really are incredibly simple to turn on and use. They connect automatically. They do everything by themselves. Um, Let's get them over to uh, the pedal board and we'll have a play around them. All right, I'm over at the pedal board. Now, I've got the uh, transmitter plugged into my guitar here. You can see it there. Plugged into my Strat. I've got it folded up this way, but you can have it folded down that way. Can have it folded down the other way, if you so desire. Now, the receiver is going into my uh, Peterson Strobo Stomp. Then I've got three green pedals on here today. I've gone with a bit of a green theme. Um, I'm just gonna roll it over so you can see it's actually in there. And out of the pedal board, I'm just going into the Marshall story of the green amp behind me. Everything is green. It's green all around. Check a bit of dirt in there too. Sounds great, doesn't seem to be any noise, doesn't seem to be any hiss, it sounds... Sounds like my Strat. Yeah, sounds good.
There you go. Now, like I said in the first part of the video, there is two ways you can use these. You don't have to have them going between your guitar and your pedal board. You can also have them going between your pedal board to your amp. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to take my transmitter and I'm going to put it into my space echo. And then I'm going to take my receiver and I'm going to put it into the front of the amp like this. Pull the cable out. Put it into the front of the amp. So now there is a wireless connection. Now there is a wireless connection from the end of my pedal board to the front of my amp. Now this is really cool because now I can just plug my guitar in like normal. Now where this is handy is if your pedal board if you're on a, a big stage and your pedal board might be over that side of the stage and your back line might be 10 metres away or 15 metres away and you don't want to have cables running over the stage, you don't trip over them, you've got to run power, sometimes you've got to run MIDI, sometimes you've got to run your audio, sometimes you're running four cable methods, so you've got heaps of cables going from your pedal board to your back line amplifier, but if you do this, then, uh, you know, all of a sudden, it uh, makes life much easier, it makes the stage much, much cleaner. <laughs> And also, because you can run six units at the same time, you can um, still have your wireless going from your guitar to your pedal board, and you can have a second wireless unit going from the end of your pedal board into the front of your guitar amp, like I've done, which is pretty cool. So, And they're smart enough to know which one's which, so there won't be any cross chatter, which is awesome. So anyway, I'd like to thank Ace Mike very, very much for sending this unit to play around with. Now we do get sent these wireless units pretty regularly. A lot of them don't make the channel because I don't show them if they're no good. So this one I think is particularly good. It's The battery seems to last a long time. So it fits in the Strat okay. Some of them don't, the design of them doesn't fit in the little recess of the Strat or the Telecaster. So this one fits, the battery's really good. There's no noise or anything like that. I have had no uh, connectivity issues which is awesome. So I think for the money, this one is a really good bargain if you're looking to get a wireless system on your board or wireless system or two on your board. Uh, like I said, I don't show them if I don't like them. So um, there's been four units that have been sent to me that just haven't made it on air because they've just been absolute rubbish. Anyway, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you, uh, Ace Mike, for sending us this to play around with. You guys have actually done a really good job. If you got this far in the video, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Leave and leave a comment. It's all free to you. It all helps the channel out a lot. We'd, uh, thanks for spending some time with us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.